by Novo, and uh, I'm going to walk you guys through some lighting gear here today, and then we'll see what else we got in store for today, but getting started with some drinks, we got a drink over here, it's the uh, Rosemary Sangria, Andrea's drinking on that, and then this is a cherry old-fashioned really don't even taste of cherry it's more so an old-fashioned so we're getting started with some drinks here and then we're gonna have some good lunch here at Club Idaho. all right Andrea got the chicken and waffles and it's looking awesome and I got the bison burger and it's looking pretty dope. Check it out. Look at all that goodness right there. That calls for a major workout after that destruction right there. All right, we dusted it all in honor of my friend, Bartley. Babe's still working on hers. Turns out the sauce here is not just maple syrup, it's something else, so. We're gonna ask them how they made that. So, look at this sucker. This thing comes with pimento cheese, too. Pretty different. Never seen anything like that. So, you guys check that out. Just here, stopping in for a quick re up on some energy. I was getting a little bit of a headache because I needed some caffeine, but uh, stay with us. I'm going to show you guys what we got in store for today and uh, we'll walk up this happy morning for you today. What's up guys? So now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm going to walk you guys through every bit of lighting modifier gear that I own and you guys can see what I have in my arsenal and what I love and cherish the most. Starting it off first, I'm going to start off with the MagMod setup. So if I'm on doing quick run and gun type scenarios, I like to use MagMod just to modify my lighting a little bit quicker and easier. So this is the Mag Sphere. So all of them have super magnets attached. So it just goes right in on the side and then pops right onto your flash like so. So this is good to quickly soften the light and almost like a soft box, as close as you're gonna get pretty quickly. This is what you would use to attach it to your flash, just like this, and then it would go straight into your flash to cut the light, to diffuse that light, and then bounce it onto your subject. That is a mag sphere there with the attachment. So keep in mind, you will need this attachment for every bit of light that you want to modify. And then here are some, I have a couple of mag grids as well. To further focus light, I'm able to utilize this tool and put my flash through there and focus that light even further on my subject to control that light and control that spill a little bit more. Here's a mag mod bounce. So this is the bounce here, so it's going to You'll put your flash there again, hits the back of this, and then goes straight onto the subject. That's some mag bounce. Really great for if you want to bounce that the light onto your subject. The mag snoot. So again, further focusing light again, but this time in a more narrow beam. So you can bring that down and really focus that light to where you would like. So if you got a product, shot that you want to get some really tight light on and just have like this much lighting that's the tool you want to use creative gel slots you've got those so how you would utilize these would be to take this and open up your mag mod wallet and here's some color correction gels that they have included for you so Say for instance, we want some full CTO. We just pop that in there and there is one there. And then we would take our attachment, put our light in through there, and then boom, straight through the color there, going onto our subject. So there's that. So 
So moving on, newer disc that I put my name on, but these are the 16 inch size here. And these are basically just essentially, these are just some little disc. I don't really use these much, but just something, you know, good to have. So that's that there. You would just put your flash in and under through there. So that's kind of how that works to get you some 16 inch softness of light. Back with another snoot. So this is a Bowen's mouth size. So you would put this in your Godox. I use a Godox S mount and you can just really just lock it in there. And then there's your grid down through there and you can further focus that light. You don't have that adjustability like you've got in that MagMod set up on that snoot, but you've got a snoot nonetheless to focus that light. They got some colored gels in there as well for you, where you can just shoot it with no gel at all. Back to those disc, we got some 12 inch disc again here. There's a small little white disc with the gray card on the back. So you got white, gray, black to get that color perfection there for your photo or video. Flash bender, it's a rogue flash bender. If I want to bounce the light again and have another light bouncing, then I can just literally take this and bend my light however I would like. Moving on to what every photographer should have, which would be a beauty dish. This is a 22 inch beauty dish. Here's the grid attached there. Not quite sure what the grid size is, but it's standard size that I would need. You can check out all my gear through the link in the description. You guys wanna check that out. Here you have the diffusion that would go onto the grid there. And also this disc will diffuse the light as well. So it's gonna, the light's gonna come through the back, hit this, diffuse it once, hit this right here, hit this white, and diffuse that white soft light onto the subject yet again. So this would focus that light, that would just simply diffuse the light. So that's what those purposes are for. And that's the beauty dish that I own. To a basic essential need, which is a reflector. This is a three or four in one reflector, I believe. So you got your silver, that's one. Black, that's two. Inside, you got gold. So there's a three, and then there's a diffusion for four in one reflector, I believe it is. Couldn't tell you what size this is as I purchased this many years ago. Paul C. Buff, 30 by 60 softbox. So here is that. I don't know if you can see all of that, but this is my recent purchase. Great for products and full body stuff as well. I've had to use this for a product shoot and I needed a whole white background. Jinbei 120 Deep Octobox. There's the inside with the grid. You do have to buy that grid separate. That is one downside, but these are old style rods. And this is a Bowen's mount. So I use all Bowen's mounts as of right now. Plethora of things in this bad boy. So breaking it down, essentially a lot of umbrellas, octoboxes, stuff like that. So this is an umbrella here as well. This is a 60 gauge umbrella, removable umbrella. So you can remove the black to make it just a white shoot through umbrella. You can get some great soft light really quickly. If you use no black cover on that, then the light's just gonna distribute everywhere. You want to have that cover on there in order to truly get some light shaping going on. So that's a Westcott umbrella, 60 inch, 60 by 90. Softbox, one of my very first soft boxes to quickly get me started. There's that one. Another 60 by 90 Godox soft box. Another Godox soft box. This is a 70 by 70, so it's like a really good square size for like headshots, stuff like that, or if you need to get some soft light into a tight spot. A good travel umbrella. Don't Quote me on the size on this one. I got this one from a guy in Nashville. A nice, soft, little, small 
soft box. You can fit in a suitcase for travel. That was my purpose that I wanted to get that one for. One of my probably most commonly used soft boxes, which is this uh, soft lighter version two, and it's a 60 inch Fotec soft lighter. A lot of your pros you're gonna see using this just because the quality of light that it outputs is just so great, very soft. And then also unscrewing this rod is very nice to have on set. You know, you don't poke somebody's eyes out. The quality of light is what us photographers really love and the softness. My two newest, besides the Halsey Buff one, are these Glow Octaboxes. This is a 51, it's a deep Octabox, so you're gonna have a lot more contrast in your images. These pop up super quick, it's a quick, just pop in, pop out button. You got a nice little handle strap here, as well as a, an arm strap. 65 inch Glow, same deal quick umbrella. So I figured I'd walk you guys through all the modifiers and actually open them up for you and show you the ins and outs of every modifier. Just so we're totally clear what they look like, how they function. Starting off from right all the way to my left. The policy buff 30 by 60. Typically just leave the fusion on there and the grid as well for quick and easy setup time. You do have a double diffuse. Honestly, it is better to come through this side right here to get into the inside. So it does have this part here, which is just a screw, and you screw it into the side to get that umbrella to lock there. This is a silver interior, so you're gonna get a little bit more of that contrast. As you can see, grid, very large grid and great quality, I might add. Outer baffle for diffusion, inner baffle for another diffusion. And there you go, Perfecta Mundo. Just simply attach that to your policy buff light and you are all set to go. Make sure you don't have any light spilling on the outside here. Close off that Velcro there, pull the softbox out. Next one, my second big Bertha. It's a beast to set up too, so you gotta make room for this one. Best way I've found to set this one up is Simply like so, this is the old style rods here, as you can tell. And you just gotta simply pull up to get those locked in, you'll hear a click. Bowen's mount as well, and you've got your grid there. Great for fashion. Glow 65, Octa we're gonna open up. Pretty quick and easy. Make sure you lock it. That's a good thing. That's the 65. Push this button right here on the side interior to get it to close back down. I'll put the, the baffle, the fusion on there for you so you guys can see that. Pro tip, get you some red whips to get it a little bit faster. Another pro tip to make it a lot faster when installing the diffusion. You wanna make sure you put it on over the actual modifier find your, your entry point to put your hand, get it in here, and you're done. That's the 65 inch Octa by Glow, deep parabolic. Same thing with that 51, 51 without, deeper for portraits as well. Glow series, umbrella, push down, and you're rocking and rolling. Fotex soft lighter version two, taking off the rod there by unscrewing that to make it a little bit safer on set and a lot more portable if you have like a battery pack that you're having to run off of or something like that. If you're in an outdoor location or indoor studio, you want. You got an interior baffle, looks to be more white and not really silvery. There's a little bit of a shine to it, but it's it's white from what I can tell there. There's the side profile, and there's the front. So that is Fotex Soft Lighter version two. 60 inch umbrella. I use the West Hot. There's that. Shoot through umbrella, you can take the removable cover off here. 
So I could simply have just a plain white umbrella and work things like that. 70 by 70 centimeter goat ox. Softbox, here's how that small that one goes. Quick, easy. Silver interior, there's that. Here's the lens, 60 by 90. This has a silver interior as well, I might add. You got your white diffusion as well as your grid. 60 by 90, so in the soft box there. Another 60 by 90, this time by Godox. You got your grid as well. You got your white baffle. And there's that. And another quick umbrella. You got this one, portable quick umbrella. Hit the like button. If you really dig this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It would truly mean a lot to me. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at sean at seankreggan.com. See you guys.